Here is a video that I've been meeting to for a long time of this fan, but I never got round to it. This is a 2015 Sainsbury's 30-inch tower fan. Now, Argus made a version of this as well, but it didn't have the timer. I'm not expecting the timer because it makes an annoying noise. Yes, this fan needs a clean, I know. Three speed things. And you have an oscillation button as well. You can set the time for two hours or 120 minutes. Side view. Back view. Now, Northern Day Code also on the merch said that um, place it was, when it was made because it says on the on on the date code fifty forty, which it obviously wasn't because the fan is not from nineteen fifty, nor is it from two thousand and five or two thousand and four. So it's definitely not from them to yours. And it says here oh eight four zero zero. So it's definitely not from nineteen eighty four or two thousand and four. So the date code is actually right here. Been backwards, but it says it's a bit backwards. It says there 15. So it was probably made on the 3rd of May 2015, is my estimation of that. And now I'm going to show you the other side, but we're going to turn it round so we can have a look at the other side here. It's also a 45 watt fan, that's pretty powerful. It's also got a pretty big motor inside. It's also got a um typical fan blade and like as you're having an air conditioner. These big events are for the fan itself. Just for the fan itself, this is for the motor calling. So yeah. Get your cord tight. Don't know what you call that. Tidy, I guess. not a cord wrap though. Handling fan, it's okay. That is worse handles. But I find it easier to carry it from the sides and with both from the top and the bottom with both hands. Or sides and sides with your arm, like hug it with your arm. Well not hug it because hugging sounds wrong for a fan. But you know what I mean. Um this fan actually uses letters for the speed as well. So L, L for, for low M for medium, H for high, and os osc for oscillation, and off for off. Simple as pie. Here's the plug. It's actually the same plug that was used on the 2011 Challenge 16 expensive fan, which is now broke, along with the, the 2011 Challenge. I do know, 2010 Challenge 16 expensive fan. There's my fidget cube there. 2010 Challenge Nights is fine. What am I talking about? Cord is pretty thin, but it's better made than most cords you get today. Well, actually, how long this cord is? Sometimes in this cord, so what does it say? It's interesting. It doesn't actually say, but you know what? I don't care. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not bothered. Mike is probably be about a four, a three to four feet, like the longer cable. It's not the longest cable in the world. Anyways, now we're going to run this fan. So here yeah, it is low. And right off the bat, this fan sounds like an air conditioner. I mean, I like when as many split air conditioner units you get. Because it's got the same sort of, same sort of blade. Now, I know Romans like tar fans. I like them because they like, they like air conditioners, but, but, but just throughout the cold, cold, cold air. And, um, and the coolant and the refrigerant as well. Medium. High. 
Hi. Oscillation. Medium. This fan's like an air cushioning, I'm being serious. Just without the cold, just without the um, cooler air. Because as you guys know, fans circulate the air that's the same temperature as the room. So if the room's the same temp, if the room's like 17 degrees, the air will be 17 degrees. Because how because fans don't cool the air, they just circulate the air. That's a fun that's a fun science that's for you. Now I'm gonna switch back to high and do the spin down. It's actually got a pretty decent spin down. Now we're gonna do the my startup sound. I also forgot to mention build quality. We'll do that when the fan spins down again. There we go. Build quality is fan. Yeah, it's what you expect from a fan of today. Pretty bendy. Pretty creaky. I mean, listen to that. This side's actually pretty sturdy. The back plastic is actually pretty sturdy, which I'm actually surprised about. Now this fan, what I find interesting about this fan before we send, send sign out here, sign off here, um, it's got a blade retaining nut, like we'd see on a oh that's what this is made of ABS, but it's actually pretty well made. But ABS plastic on the base, but it's sturdy actually. That's not original. That's not the original nut. But it's the same sort of nut you get on a fan, like the fan. But um, what I find interesting about this fan is the fact that it is not on the base. As, as with most tower fans, I find it. I find it interesting in most tower fans. But yeah, it holds. Uh, it holds. It's holding by a nut. Sometimes it's actually on bases, but you know. Oh, that, there's actually a crack in the base there. But yeah, it's it's a pretty cheap fan, what you expect. However, the base is pretty sturdy on some. So, that's actually not too bad if you think about it. So, out of, all, out of, out of the rating, I should give this fan. I'm going to actually. I'm actually gonna, you might, this might come as a surprise to you, but I'm going to give it a good 6 out of 10. You know what, it's creaky, made of ABS plastic, but on the, on the actual back grill vents here, they're actually pretty sturdy, it's when you get to the front they bend, and the base is actually pretty sturdy like I mentioned, airflow, good 6 out of 10 actually, it's more powerful than an SMC fan, SMC tower fan. And it actually does pretty well. Actually, I do think this the, this exact fan was made by SMC. I know one of the, I know some of them were. SMC did make tower fans. And, yeah. And that's not the original colour of the fan. It has yellowed over time. It is dying to yellow. Some bleaching due to age. Do you want to know what the original colour looked like? Look on the base. Or if you, turn, if you actually turn the fan. Let's put it into oscillation a second. You 
this is always not cut out of the plastic. So this phone has yellowed over time. Anyways, that's gonna conclude this video. Actually, no, not step. We're gonna put over all phones a six out of ten. It's actually pretty good for a modern fan, but it has got the usual modern fan flaws, such as cheapness and you know. But it's the base is pretty sturdy and the back wheels is pretty sturdy as well. So yeah. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching this video and see ya.